Hey everyone, it's Weskimo here. I'm bringing you a Viper Guide today on the map Bind. Uh, we're going to primarily be looking at different walling spots, but I'm going to maybe throw in a few other tips here and there as well. So, yeah, let's get straight into the video, everyone. Alright, guys, so we're on Bind, and uh, the first spot I'm going to show in this video is a really nice wall that is um, basically going to cover the window over at B and um, the doorway at B, but we're, we actually fire it from A side. So in a game you could be covering A side with one person and some people at B and you, whenever they need a wall you just, they just shout and you put the wall over them. It's really useful. So basically we're just here on the map near A lamps and uh, we're going to come just here into this uh, shop just outside the doorway like this and we're going to line up our wall like this. Okay so we want to cross this window and we want to come just here, I'll move this side a little bit this way like that, there we go. Let's shoot that. And uh, I'm going to go for the teleport now and just show you how this lands. It takes a couple of seconds to land. But then this is a really nice wall. It's going to cover this doorway and this window. So whoever's coming here, they can say, hey, we're getting pushed window, we're getting pushed doorway. Fill this one up front. Really useful tip right there. So, all right, I'm going to show you some more walls now. There's quite a lot on this map. So let's jump straight over to the next clip. Okay, so we're here again on Bind, we're near A side, and this is a really nice wall that we can put down that's going to cross A cubby and also cover B short as well. Okay, so we're just going to start here, we're going to line ourselves up with this line like this, we're going to pull out our E, so you can do this just as the round starts, you want to do this pretty much like as the barrier goes down, um, and we're going to just line this up just like this, you line it up uh, here on the map to go across this line. So you want your doorway on the right hand side of this, just like that. And uh, then we can go for the teleporter, I'll show you just quickly what it looks like on this side. It completely blocks off this view team, it's basically pixel tight, no one can sneak through there. Um, so that's really nice on this side. And then what you're also doing is you're creating a barrier across this part here. So essentially your team could come through this and set up and be ready to shoot. And uh, What's really interesting as well, because there's a hole in this window, it does actually also put a little bit of a block up here. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you could hide behind there or something, and this one is not as useful, but it's just kind of like a byproduct of these first two, which are really useful. Okay, so I'm going to jump over to the next clip now and show you some more walls. Okay guys, so this is the last spot I'm going to be showing you for A side defense. Um, so we're just going to stand here, and what we're going to do with this one is we're going to aim it into the sky, we're just going to cut across to the teleporter from here. So this is going to cut off the A bath, and it's also going to cut off the middle of uh, A short here. Let's just fire that, I'll just show you quickly how that one is working out in the game. So we've got a barrier here, it's going to completely cover off this, so it's not really safe for them to push out of there. It's also completely blocked off this, your team's safety is a teleporter, they can't push through really. <laughs> Probably even hide someone in here, maybe, I don't know, if you want to be sneaky. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's the last one for A side defense. I'm mean, I'm gonna show you some others now for defense, but starting off on the B side of the map. Okay, guys. So this is a wall that you can do starting on B side defense on map find. So let's look at the map quickly where we are. We're just here in the B garden area. So I'll leave that. Let me leave that up a little few more seconds for you guys to look at. We're just here in B garden. Okay, so you can do this one two ways. You can even stand here, kind of do the same thing. Or you can stand here. Um, it's a little bit more risky, but you still have plenty of time because the, the enemy like spawn down here somewhere. So you've, you've got a couple of seconds to come in here if you want to. And we're just going to aim across and um, kind of like just look over here at this box like this. Let me uh, show you how this one's gone down. So you, you can do it on this side if you want to be a little more safer. Maybe you know they're going to rush. It does the same kind of job. So what, what, what the aim of this one is to do, just block off this complete area here, the doorway. Um, there's a little cheeky one here, which is kind of actually not the best for your team, but it goes down as a counterpart. And uh, blocks off here basically as well, which is the main thing you want to do, block off this and that doorway. Okay, so that's the first one for B defense. I'm going to jump over to some more clips now, showing you some other walls. Okay, so this is a wall you can do from B side window on defense. So I'm just going to open up the map. We're just here in the window. 
So you can do this one at the start of the round. You have to wait for the barrier to go down, like with most of these walls. So we're just going to stand here and fire this across the map in this way. So we want the lines to be just here on this side of the box. And it will go down across the map. So what this is going to do is, it's given us a little bit of a wall in there as a byproduct, but the main thing is it blocks this off, so if they want to jump up here, even on this crate, it's going to be blocked off for them. And uh, let me come around this side and show you over here. So yeah, it's also blocking this side as well. So if they want to come through this in any way, then you know they're going to be face checking into whatever you're, you've got set up. Okay, so that is basically all of the walls on defense. So we're going to jump over now and I've got quite a few walls to show you for offense as well. So let's jump into one of those clips. Okay, so I'm going to show you some clips for offense now and walls we can do for pushing. So we're going to start here on A side near the A lobby and we're going to want to jump up on these boxes here like this and we're going to aim across the map kind of like me aim up here so I get my aim on so we want to aim across this cutting this side off and uh, also this we can slightly move it to the left like this okay there we go this should be about perfect and so what we want to do with this one is now we're, we're going to push with our team down uh, this is called a shot there we go okay so when this goes up this is basically giving you cover from the window so now people aren't really able to snipe you anymore from there if someone was on like this box or this box they've basically been interrupted and you're able to plant just here with your team so you can just rush down here set this up so I'll quickly just show you that it also cuts off like this window and uh, I mean these two doorways here like this so this is completely cut off so you could also technically come down a baths and the only thing you'd have to worry about is like this window and maybe someone stood here you got a plant, but yeah, it's re really good to plant on this side in this little bit here. Okay, so let me go over to some more clips now and show you some more offense walls. Okay, so I'm going to show you a wall now that you can do for attacking down A baths. Um, so let's jump up here. I'm going to stand in this corner and we're going to aim across on the map. Basically, just like this, we want to touch this crate and this yeah. corner, basically. So. Um, if you look right here on my screen, my aim is just above this leaf, on the top of that leaf, so you can also just aim up like that. And um, So yeah, this is going to let us push onto A baths really easily. I'm going to show you this now as we run around. There we go, it's perfect. So, as you can see, it's completely blocked up, you can get a plant down here. Maybe somebody's here, maybe someone's hiding here, I'm not sure, but other than that, you're completely safe window nobody can be sniping you from so this is a really powerful wall okay I'm gonna jump into the next clip now okay guys so this is a spot for pushing on CB so you want to try and get here at the start it's a little bit dangerous maybe you want to throw a uh, smoke down or something first I'm not sure you want to come to here on this side of the crate you want to aim up and you want to just cut the B bomb side basically in half um, like this there we go and then when your team decides to push through here, um, this is going to be super useful because it's going to block off these points here. So if you play this map, you know people are like always camping here. People are always camping like here. People are sometimes camping maybe like here and peeking out. And this is just going to like completely just cut all of that off for them. So this is just completely cut in half now. Your team are relatively safe to push through. The only real problems are people hiding like maybe behind this crate or people here. Okay, so that's the first one for pushing on to B in this video. I'm gonna jump over to another clip now for another way to push B. Okay guys, so this is a wall pushing onto B, so you need to get down here on B long. Maybe you just smoke to get here first. I didn't have one this round because I was just showing you the wall mainly. And um, if you get up to here you want to aim across here like this. We want to cut across this box shoot like that pick this up Pocket jump. right activate this wall now you guys can push across here from window it's safe because there's no one sniping anymore the only real place people could be is like here or in 
not in here, like, but people aren't really going to be in there, someone might be here, that's basically it. And um, just really, really good wall to get a plan in, really, and push on to the B site. Okay, I'm going to jump over into some more tips and tricks, and uh, yeah, see you in the next clip. Okay, so uh, this uh, is not really a wall trick, this is just um, a general tip or trick for Viper. And you can do this on like any map, offense, defense, it doesn't really matter, but you want to go to like where these uh, ultimate orbs are basically at, at the start of the round. You just want to throw your your gas cloud, put it up, like just come up here and just take it for free basically. Uh, very rarely are people going to shoot through this, so you can do this here, you can do this on the other side, you can do this pretty much any map. I do this all the time, it's a really good way to just get um, ultimate stacks a lot faster. Okay, so this is just a place to throw your Q at the start of the game on offense so that it will land basically just around here, this A lamps area, um, and stop anyone from like camping around there. So we're just going to stand here on this crate, we're going to look across here to that point, and we're just going to throw like that. It's going to go over the wall. It's going to land basically just here perfectly so no one can be camping around this corner anymore or well, they can do but they're still in poison and they can't see you so yep just a really useful Q spot alright so this is just a Q at the start of the game over onto uh, like the B window area so over near where the teleport is you're just going to jump throw this over and run around here and activate that it's just going to land perfectly here like this guys Really, really useful, really powerful. Okay, so jump into some more clips. Okay, so this is a snake bite from the A teleporter over onto A window. So you just on this box like this. I'm gonna aim down for here like this. I'm gonna aim up your aimer like this, and we're just gonna shoot across. There we go. I'll show you where this lands quickly. There we go. It lands right there on the A window. Anybody who was stood up on that platform is going to get hit by the snake bite. Awesome. Okay, so this is a snake bite shot down a shot. So you're going to be standing here. You're going to aim up just like this above here. This is going to bounce down. And it's going to land on anybody who is up on this box here. But basically, this is also really useful because if Sage was on a wall here, this would hit anybody on that Sage wall as well. Alright guys, so this is a snake bite, if mainly if we started off in B window, maybe we've done the wall across there, so we're going to just stand there like this, we're going to aim almost up to the sky, pretty much vertically, and we want to aim across, basically just to this doorway, yeah. Yeah. online with this, there we go, we should come down, just there like that, just going to hit anybody who's pushing through here. Okay, I'm going to show you, I think, one more snake bite clip, and then we'll move on to some ultimates. Alright, so this is just a snake bite that lands into B window. You can do this from the start. So you just want to come here, you want to aim up here at this window, shoot that in there, and what this is going to do is it's going to land perfectly inside this B window. So anybody who was camping in, in this corner here, anywhere around there, is going to hit. Um, and a few very slight variations in the angles, maybe sometimes you get it to land here, maybe sometimes you get it to land here if uh, you think it more specifically where the enemy are, but yeah, that's just a really useful shot and you can also do that with the, the grenade as well, so uh, I'm just going to throw the grenade up here like this, get it to bounce off there and uh, this comes into here as we can see, there we go so it's the Okay, so in this clip I'm going to basically just talk about ultimates on this map a little bit. Um, so the first thing I'm going to say is your ultimate is super useful, but it should be used like situationally. So don't always do it in the same place and use your brain and think like, is this good, is this bad, where are the enemy, and uh, is this a good ultimate or not. Okay, but with that said, I will show some spots that I think are kind of cool. So. First one would be to say you've just planted here. Um, we're gonna put this up here like this. Okay, so we say the bomb is planted here on this corner because the viper wall is cut off across this side. Um, what you'd be able to do is, and I think this is pretty good, sit in the corners like this. The bomb would be just here. So you, you can see the bomb as soon as someone picks it up. You could creep forward, but 
You want to keep your back when you're in the Viper always to walls and corners. Um, this way people are always pushing into you and you, you don't want to stand next to the bomb. You want people to like walk into the bomb range. And um, then you can like walk in and pick them off because obviously they glow red. So you want to like stay out of vision and then you'll see them first because they glow red. So you want to just like peek in every time you think someone's coming to defuse. Alright, okay, so let me show you another pretty useful spot for your ultimate and it'll be on the other side of the map. Alright then guys, so we're at the uh, B spawn right now, at the B site, and I'm just going to quickly show you another place to use your ultimate. So, as I said before, this is like really um, up to the game that you're playing, like where you're using the ultimate. This is just an example of a kind of useful spot that you could use. So, say the wall's here, you've already had a wall like this, you've been able to push in on the bomb site. Get out of here, get the, get the bomb planted. And, uh, and you just want to channel your ultimate about here. You put your toxic screen down. So it's the same principle as before, like, and, and as always, you want to sit in a corner, just away from the bomb. People are going to come and peek you. You shoot them as soon as they come close. You'll see them before they see you because they will be glowing red because that's how Vipers all works. So this is probably not the best corner to sit in. It's probably best to sit in this corner back here a little bit further away from the bomb itself okay so that is actually going to wrap this video up guys this has been a really really long video so far uh, much longer than many of my other guides have been um, but I think I've covered quite a lot of things there's some things that I've probably not included in here and I have made a few cuts to um, kind of like keep the video shorter and condensed to make sure that everything is super useful super relevant and I've not put things in here that are maybe not as good um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope you enjoyed the guide, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and um, we'll be making more videos very shortly for all characters in Valorant. So yeah, thanks for watching.